largely because of the strategy oh, of, of, of Tully Blanchard. And I agree, and Sammy Guevara starting things out. Now remember, the match cannot end until all ten men are in. Yeah. This is a five-minute one-on-one period. So this one-on-one -on -one affair will last five minutes. And this is five minutes for Dax Harwood or Sammy Guevara to inflict as much punishment on their opponent as possible. Yeah, Sammy didn't need to turn his attention away from Dax. Oh, Dax with a big shoulder tackle drops Sammy down. Sammy goes for the trip. Leapfrogs up and over. The backflip oh. off the back of the drop kick. We really don't know how good Sammy Guevara is going to be. But let me tell you, I think he's going to be spectacular when all is said and done. No he's point. still a pop. Oh, but it's a oh spine my God. buster. That double A spine buster. Yeah, you can, look at this, just it, out of instinct alone. You can't do it, buddy. It's submit or surrender. Well, well, it is instinct, I, and I get that. It was instinct, and you know, I almost said that this is Sammy Guevara's first match since February of this year, early February, but this is not a match. This is something else entirely, yeah. Tony. You don't even, you can't prepare for this thing. We've talked about it for so many years because there's a cage, everybody knows a cage, but two rings. You can't Ooh. run and hide from ah. anybody. Oh. JR, you and Tony were <laughs> present for the first Blood and Guts match. You called all of the action. How were those 10 men changed forever? Well, one of them was injured and never got back in the ring again. Oh, Harwood. It's, just... it's a crap shoot. It's a professional crap shoot to be in this sort of an environment. And Guevara. Oh, oh God, please. Head first into the steel. It's the jumping rider kick, the heel of Guevara's boot catching Dax Harwood on the jaw. Dax the axe. There's and nothing much better than a motivated Sammy Guevara. And Harwood getting up to the top. Oh, oh. Teetering on disaster. Yes, me. Both Good. guys. Now remember, these guys, five minute period, like you said, JR, but they gotta remain in there after all the men are in. Yeah, they're in for keeps. They're in for keeps. So by the time it gets to the Wow, look at this. Harwood and Guevara bouncing on that top rope and that chain link fence that can rend and tear the skin. That's why it's so dangerous. Man, these two dogs are just beating the hell out of each other. Oh, Harwood! Well, that's a, that's not good. Oh, I, I think he turned his knee there. Yeah, that's 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 not good. And that's knee without the brace on it. Yeah, it's submit or surrender. Yeah, and if you if you put a submission hold on a busted knee, you know the guy's going to surrender. What's he trying to do here? Remember, the cage is locked. Referee on each side. Referee, each referee has the key, a key to her door. Yeah, it is, it is Bryce Remsburg on the pinnacle side, Aubrey Edwards on the inner circle side, and Harwood just sent face first. He's going side to side oh, of the cage. And he's cut already. Something's got to give. Yeah, the, the flash the, on steel. Look, steel wins every time, Tony. And, and uh, yeah, the steel of the. That's that, that chain link fence I was talking about, Tony. Yeah, the abrasive chain link fence. It's opening him up. Whoever can get to those obstacles and use them most effectively as we're under 30 seconds to our next participant, which will be a tentacle member. Right. And they'll get a, a two minute advantage. And they'll have the one-man advantage all the way until the all-out assault begins at the end. And somehow it looks like Spears is going to be the next guy. Well, it looks like he's readying himself to the... That means Sammy's got to withstand... A the double 